Hi guys, welcome back. Healy Food Belly here with another video. So today I had therapy. As y'all can see, I'm on here. I look fine. It went well. Um, yeah, I talked about a couple things. Um, just to fill her in with me recording again and how I'm doing it for me. Um, also talked about advocating for myself. So I have been off of my psych meds since June of this year, 2024. Um, and the my nurse, my psych nurse who was following me because I had been off the medication, she wanted to discharge me um, from the program. So I felt like I really thought about it and I took things into consideration and put things in perspective and said, hey, I don't know if five months or however long it's been is enough time um, to follow me, you know, to, and be discharged. So I, I requested that I stay um, in the program for another year. It's just basically having a telemedicine visit with my psych nurse and filling her in. That's all the appointment really is. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm staying on track. And I'm doing what's best for me, you know, and my mental health. So I'm, I asked her to not discharge me, and she was cool with that. Um, yeah, and then the other thing was just, you know, about being in the foster care system. Um, I told you guys that I was going to work on my foster care series, and being in therapy is really going to help me process you know, that stuff and be able to get those videos out because I want to help other people. I mean, my experiences, I'm not the only one who's ever went through certain things. And I feel like, you know, sometimes you can give people a glimmer of heart, hope by letting them know that they're not alone. Last thing we talked about was just the little thing I had in my household the other day about the food. And what I came up with was I need to create boundaries when it comes to my family when it comes to my husband and my children that doesn't mean that they have to be rigid boundaries um it just means that again people cannot have access to you all 24 hours a day seven days a week you know boundaries have really really helped so creating and developing some boundaries you know what I'm saying? I have boundaries with other members of my family. And I feel like that has really helped and put things into perspective. So, yeah. Um, I talked about dance school and doing something for me and connecting with other people. Um, because I don't have a big circle, right? I really, really don't. And my kids get on, on me about it all the time. They're like, Mommy, you don't have friends. This, that, and other, blah, say, blah. And I've always been that type of person who, yes, I've had friends, right? I've had friends who's been in my life since I was a kid, right? But the thing about friends are that, or people in general, is that you don't know when those seasons are going to come to an end, right? So everybody who comes into your life is not going to be with you forever, People outgrow people, people move in different directions. Um, and sometimes naturally relationships, you know, disintegrate or they just fade out, right? So that's how I've always been. I've been um, a person who has had friends throughout my lifetime, but it wasn't like a consistent, constant thing. So I would have a friend for four years straight. And then, you know, me and that friend might end up going to different high schools and we lost touch. Um, sometimes people are in your life too long. You know, I've had friends who's been in my life and then when important things come up, either they show up or they don't. You know, so that's another test. Another test is when important things come up in their life. Do they invite you to those things? Do they try to include you? You know what I'm saying? So I've always been um, a thinker and observer, right? I've always been into protecting myself and protecting my feelings. And 
when it comes to people, you don't want to hold on to people longer than they want to be held on to. So you have to learn how to let them go, how to separate um, yourself and how to, again, let, let people go with grace. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, I do have a friend though. My husband. My husband is my friend. And I'm my friend. And I feel like at this point in time in my life, that's all the friends I need. I just don't feel like I need to go out with people. And I just don't need that. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm trying to tell my kids. Like, And I told my therapist that it's like, I don't want to be attached to anything um, to the point where I feel like I can't live without it, right? So that comes that, you know, is, is geared to, towards my husband. Yes, I love my husband and I want to be with him forever. But the fact of the matter is that we're not going to be together forever. One of us is going to leave this earth first. And I need to be able to cope if he's not here. And the thing I was talking to him about was um, now that my kids are older, and I talked to my ther therapist about this too, because I am, my perspective on death is different because I've had so many close encounters with it. Um, it doesn't scare me. It doesn't. So, you know, now that my kids are older, I have to prepare myself as much as I possibly can to be realistic and say that there may come a time where my kids don't outlive me. I outlive them. Can you prepare for that completely? No, because I don't know what it feels like to lose a child, but I can prepare myself mentally and say, this is a possibility. You know what I'm saying? Because I've seen people who are in relationships um, or who've had relationships, whether it be parent, child, you know, husband and wife, whatever. Um, I've seen people fall apart and I've seen people get stuck and I don't want that for me. I don't want that for me. So, you know, putting things into perspective and processing things, um, and taking baby steps, I think helps. So, yeah, I mean, I had a good day in therapy. Um, I didn't do any of my morning routine. Again, I told you I was going to take some time off just to take care of me. And I meant it. You know what I'm saying? It's not nothing towards my family, but you have to take care of yourself. You do. And I think I take care of them really, really well. And I want to make sure that I give that same thing that I give to them to myself. Right. So that's what I've been doing. So I didn't cook breakfast. I don't know if I'm cooking dinner. Um, but yeah. It's been a good day. It's been a good day. It's been a good day. <laughs> I'm happy. All right. So that's all I got for y'all for this video. If nobody told you that you're not today, you are enough just the way you are with no strings attached. And if nobody told you that they love you today, I love you. So until next time, guys, peace, love, and blessings. See the next one.